Hey, welcome to today's video. I'm Richard Chapo. I'm a privacy lawyer in San Diego, California. Today, we're taking a look at a CCPA issue that comes up uh, repeatedly, and that is, does personal information include biometric data? So under the California Consumer Privacy Act, uh, one of the key uh, factors in determining whether compliance is required and what you have to do is whether the data you are collecting is included in the definition of personal information. Uh, now, the definition of personal information is very broad under the CCPA. Uh, it somewhat mirrors what we see in Europe with the GDPR. And this has been a change in the legislative process uh, that we see across the world. And the reason being uh, that uh, politicians, our representatives, have woken up and realized that a lot of companies don't necessarily um, build profiles on individuals and track them based on their name, phone number, and email address. Instead, they use other data, things like unique identifiers and cookies and uh, you know what have you. And in this case with the CCPA, um, the definition of personal information is so broad because the legislature is trying to anticipate not only the current use of data, but uh, potential for uh, future uses by tech uh, so that the law is not antiquated in you know a couple of years. Uh, so biometric data, what is it? Well, biometric data is just some kind of identifier based on uh, the physical anatomy of a person or their activities. So for instance, um, your voice. Uh, or we've all seen the uh, dramatic spy movies or what have you, where somebody puts their face up into an indention in the wall for a security device and their eyeball is scanned. Well, the eyeball scan is biometric data. Uh, it can be something much simpler like fingerprints. It can even be um, you know, a rhythm that you use uh, when you're typing or something of that sort. Uh, but you get the general idea. And the question is, okay, well, is that included in personal information? And the answer is yes. Uh, section 1798.140, subsection O, subsection 1, subsection E, specifically says biometric data is included. So if you are collecting biometric data uh, from California residents, then you may well need to comply with the CCPA and handle that biometric data appropriately. Uh, and if you're wondering, that graphic on the right there, that is supposed to be a biometric data security system. <laughs> it was the best I could find. I don't know what it is either. Not very convincing, is it? Uh, but nonetheless, uh, biometric data, is it included in the definition of personal information for the CCPA? Yes. This is a bright line definition. This is not a gray area. It's clearly included. Uh, so again, if you're collecting that kind of data, make sure you know your CCPA obligations and you're meeting them. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to contact me. Uh, you can post questions below, but please keep in mind that's not protected by the attorney-client privilege. Or you can contact me at my website, SoCalInternetLawyer.com. So thanks for watching. Have yourself a good one.